Namaste. Now we are going to talk about spices and uh, some blends of spices that we are going to call masalas. In Hindi, usually masalas are written as M A S A L A. Um, there is one very famous that is called garam masala. Um, but we are going to speak mainly about four kinds of masala that are going to be good for a specific set of conditions in your body. The first masala is going to be mainly for things that are sweet. It's very good to boil it in the milk if you're going to drink milk. We are going to call this masala chai. Uh, everything that is sweet you can put this but it's usually better if you prepare during the cooking process all the other masalas usually are going to be cooked in the oil but it, since this one is going to be cooked in the milk or some dairy products if you don't uh, preheat it in the oil doesn't matter but you can also preheat it in ghee and uh, things that are related to dairy prod products if you're going to drink it with a long it. This masala chai is going to have uh, four parts of cardamom, four parts of cinnamon, four parts of clove. So cardamom, cinnamon, clove are going to be four parts. Three parts of ginger, uh, it can be dry or fresh ginger. Three parts of um, star anise, I'm not so sure about the name in English, I was looking for it, but it's just like that one that it looks like a star and it's a little bit brownish and reddish. Uh, Twenty, no, two parts of nutmeg and also you can put uh, fennel. In English there is no much distinction between one kind of herb that it can be translated as anise also and another kind of herb that is usually translated as fennel. In Portuguese we have two names of, for these herbs but uh, usually when I do the translation in English they only say fennel. Okay? So this masala chai it's very good for you to cook in the milk and you can add in the milk some uh, turmeric and the amount of these spices are going to be according to your flavor when I say parts you're going to prepare this just like if you put 10 grams as one part you're going to put 40 grams of cardamom 40 grams of cinnamon and so on. doesn't matter uh, which uh, unity you are using it's just the portion portions if there is one, one of these that you actually don't like at all or maybe you are like allergic to it you don't have to follow this suggestion as a rule it's just a suggestion okay it's very good for you to put on desserts everything that is sweet there are a lot of spices there that are promoting your digestion there it's making your acne uh, more strong to um, digest things that are very sweet in India people cook the milk with these spices and also blend it with um, black tea and they prepare in a portion of one milk one black tea a drink that is called chai very very common in India so that's why this masala is called masala chai the second masala that we are going to speak of it's good for people that have a lot of gases and usually maybe are constipated we are going to call this masala vata it's better to be used in things that are beans uh, things that promote gases in your system uh, overly and also in the end of the meal in green uh, vegetables this masala vata there's going to be four parts of cumin 
three parts of ginger, three parts of fenugreek, one part of anise, one part of nutmeg, one part of clove, one part of uh, coriander, and one part of asafoetida, hink. Um, the fenugreek is very hard to smash. One suggestion, if you have a very good blender, United States usually this is easier, uh, you can put in the blender and smash it. But if you don't have a very professional blender, you can put this fenugreek along with some anise. You just warm them uh, in the in the oven, and then start to uh, to blend the anise. And when the anise is just like uh, softer, you are going to be uh, putting the fenugreek along with. Because if you don't put this like at the fenugreek seed, it's going to be kicked by the blender, it's not going to be crushed. So this masala vata is very good for the end of the meal and for people that have uh, the digestion not so stable. The third masala that we are going to speak, it's very good for people that has a lot of burning sensations, reddish, uh, ha have uh, I don't, acne, I don't remember the name in English, people that have a lot of acidity in the body and uh, this is good for the liver to calm the temperature of the blood this masala pita is going to be like this four parts of turmeric four parts of um, coriander three parts of cumin two parts of fenugreek two parts of rosemary two parts of anise one part of nutmeg one part of cardamom again this is not a closed recipe it's a suggestion, a brother's suggestion. We can work if you don't like so much rosemary or any kind of this stuff. But the point is that usually in this masala pita there is going to be a lot of uh, coriander and also turmeric, a little bit of cumin. These are the main ingredients. The other ones are playing more a flavor role in this masala. The third masala is going to be a very spicy one it's good for uh, cleaning the excess of mu mucus in the body to take out the laziness and the sensation that uh, life is going very slow because you're not energetic enough this masala we are going to call kappa and it also helps you if you have swellings if your digestion is very slow this masala is going to have the most uh, pungent uh, taste. You can put just like four parts of black pepper, three parts of cumin, three parts of ginger, three parts, and this part of cinnamon depends. There are some people that doesn't like so much the sweet flavor of cinnamon, can be clove. Uh, three parts of mustard, two parts of um, um, how do you say this in English it's like that pepper strong pepper that you put on the pizza usually Calabrian maybe <laughs> but the point is that are going to have a lot of um, powerful spices and this is going to be very hot um, preparation that you're going to use mainly on things that are potatoes and the things that are carbohydrates. The masala pita we are going to use mainly in sour things um, and things that increase the heat in our body like uh, tomato, like eggplant, like uh, garlic <laughs> and some kind of meats. But don't worry, um, this recipe here is only to have a general view of the topic because when we are speaking about your case we are going maybe to make some um, adaptations for what you need okay but uh, 
as a general concept, the masalas should improve your digestion and also uh, correct any kind of digestive uh, disturbance after you eat. The better is to prepare them along with the food as we spoke before, putting some oil and then preparing the masalas. But the masalas are all grinded, so you don't have to be just like putting the beginning one and the other. This is a way to start uh, using spices in our daily cooking without being too complicated because the complex part is to do the masala then is just to use they're they're supposed to be very um, interesting for our uh, taste buds and also for our nose buds <laughs> and they should make you feel happy because the food is very interesting and very um, smelly okay so this is just one broad view about the topics of masalas then it is going to be more developed and if you want to uh, clear your doubts about what to do what to follow in your case always remember we can do skype consultations internet consultations to make this appropriate for your uh, specific case in the time that you're living in the place that you're living in the weather that you're living in all the stuff okay see you in the next video please share comment and also like it namaste